today we will solve the problems on z transformations we have questions here the find the z transform and roc for the following signals sketch the roc poles and zeros in the z plane there are five problems i have taken here first problem is x of n is equal to del of n second problem is x of n is equal to del of n minus k where k is greater than 0 third problem is x of n is equal to del of n plus k where k is greater than 0 Fourth problem is x of n is equal to u of n. Fifth problem is x of n is equal to 2 to the power of n into u of minus n minus 1. These are the basic signals. Let us find the z transformation of these basic signals and let us plot their ROC, poles and zeros in the z plane. First problem is that is x of n is equal to, they given it as a, is equal to, that is x of n equals to del of n. We know that definition of z transform x of z is equal to summation of n tends from minus infinity to plus infinity that is x of n into z to the power of minus n that is x of n we should replace it by del of n summation of n tends from minus infinity to plus of infinity plus infinity into del of n into z to the power of minus n here this is del of n is impulse function its definition is del of n is equal to 1 when n is 0. It exists only at n is equal to 0. And so we don't need to vary the summation from minus plus infinity because this input signal del of n exists only at 0. And so let us put that only at 0. For remaining values, this will be 0. That to the power of minus 0 answer is that the del of 0 value is 1. Okay. This is x of z. Okay, now here x of z value is 1, its ROC is for all the values of z, its value is 1, and that is this is the real part of z, this is imaginary part. ROC is enter z plane. ROC is and for any value of z, its answer is 1. Next, second problem that is x of n is equal to del of n minus k. That is, its the transformation is x of z is equal to summation of n tends from minus infinity to plus infinity del of n minus k into z to the power of minus 1. As per the definition of impulse function, that is, del of n minus k is equal to 1 when n minus k, when n minus k is equal to 0. When n minus k is equal to 0, that is, n must be equal to k or k must be equal to n. That means it exists at only one value of n, that is n must be equal to k. That is when n is equal to k, x of z exists, that is del of 0 when n is equal to k and z to the power of minus k. The answer del of 0 value is 1, that is answer is z to the power of minus k. Okay, this is that uh, x of z is equal to z to the power of minus k. This can be written as 1 divided by z to the power of k. Okay. Now, its ROC is, ROC is entire z plane except at z is equal to 0. When z is equal to 0, you will get 0 to the power of k, it will become 0. Then x of z will become infinity. And for remaining values of z, it satisfies. And number of poles and zeros in this here is, that is, numerator polynomial roots are called poles and denominator polynomial, sorry, Denominator polynomial roots are called poles and numerator polynomial roots are called zeros here. Numerator doesn't have any zeros here and it has z uh, to the power of k and poles are, you have k number of poles at the heart. That is z to the power of k is equal to 0. That is z is equal to 0. It has k number of poles. Suppose if z square is equal to 0, you will get two poles. Values are zeros. Okay. Now, ROC here is entire z plane except at z is equal to 0. That is, ROC is entire z plane except at z is equal to 0. And how many poles are there here? It has poles at the horizon and it has k number of poles. k number of poles. This is the imaginary part of z. And this is the real part of Z. Okay. 
this is very much useful even when you are doing the inverse z transformation. Suppose if you have an del of that is 1 divided by z to the power of k or z to the power of minus k, its inverse z transformation is del of n minus k. And x of z is 1, its inverse z transformation is del of n. Okay. Then we will take the next problem that is x of n is equal to x of n is equal to del of n plus k. Okay. Its z transformation that is x of z is equal to our summation of n tends from minus infinity to plus infinity del of n plus k into z to the power of minus 1. Here also this impulse function definition is del of n plus k equals to del of n plus k equals to 1 when when n plus k is equal to 0 that is n is equal to minus k. Here solution exists only at one value of n when n is equal to minus k that is when n is equal to minus k that when n is equal to minus k this become del of minus k plus k this into z to the power of minus of minus will become plus k. It is x of z is this is del of 0 z to the power of del of 0 value is 1 z to the power of the k you will get. This is the z transformation of del of n plus k. And it has only numerator here. Its ROC is entire z plane. ROC is entire z plane except at z is equal to infinity. Let us plot this ROC. Okay, this is the real part of z. This is the OX, this is the imaginary part of Z. ROC is the entire Z plane accepted. And it has only numerator. That's why it doesn't have any poles here. It has zeros, K number of zeros. Zero is marked at this point. Okay, its value is zero. It has K number of zeros. Okay. Next problem. Next problem is x of n is equal to u of n. You know the definition of u of n is its u of n value is 1 when n is greater than or equal to 0. And this, you know the definition of z transformation summation of n tends from minus infinity to plus infinity x of n into z to the power of minus n. Because of u of n, the summation range changes to that is summation of n tends from 0 to infinity x of n value is u of n into z to the power of minus n. u of n value is 1 in the range 0 to infinity and this can be written as that is summation of n tends from 0 to infinity u of n value is 1 it, this z to the power of minus n can be written as z to the power of minus 1 whole to the power of n. We know the series that is summation of n tends from 0 to infinity a to the power of n equals to 1 divided by 1 minus e if a is less than 1 if a is less than 1 similarly we can write this one as that is 1 divided by 1 minus z inverse answer is 1 divided by 1 minus z inverse where z inverse is less than 1 that is nothing but 1 by z is less than 1 and z is greater than 1 1 is less than z and z is this is the ROC. Here, Z transformation of U of N is 1 divided by 1 minus Z inverse. Okay, this is X of Z. Okay. It, this is very much helpful when you are doing the inverse Z transformation because when they give X of Z as 1 divided by 1 minus Z inverse, its inverse Z transformation is time. There is nothing but time domain sequence is U of N. Now, let's plot its poles and zeros. We got that that is our oh, that is x of z is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus z inverse that is nothing but 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by z we have z divided by z minus 1 that is the LCM here denominator of the denominator goes to numerator you can write this as in z divided by z minus 1 now it's what it's roc and Poles and zeros. This is 
as in part of z. Now, what is R O C here? We got that z d is greater than one. It is. Let us take an unit circle. The circle with the radius is one. Okay, where center is the horizon is the center of the circle. This is one. Z d is greater than one. R O C is z d is greater than one. And this is the R O C. Okay. And this also satisfies the properties of R O C. For right-sided infinite duration, R O C is outside the circle. U of n is a right-sided infinite duration sequence. Now, to plot its poles and zeros, x of z is we have got answer that is z divided by z divided by z minus one. That means numerator has one zero, its value is zero. Denominator has one pole, its value is one. That is zeros are here z is equal to zero and poles are that is z minus one is equal to zero where z is equal to one. The zero is such plot. Zero is represented by circle, whereas pole is represented by an cross mark that its value is one. There is no angle for the pole here because we got z is equal to one. We got one zero and one pole here. Okay. Let us take the fifth problem. That is x of n is equal to you have two to the power of n into u of minus n minus one. Okay. What is this? U of minus n minus one means this signal exists from minus one to minus infinity because u of n value is u of n value is its value is one when n is greater than or equal to zero. U of n minus one is its one to infinity because of minus sign you should take the reflection of that signal. This is the u. That is it. It exists from minus in one to minus infinity. This is one. This is u of n minus one. U of n minus one. Then you take its reflection. It comes from minus one to minus infinity. This is u of minus n minus one. Okay. This is n. Now, its z transformation is because this exists only from minus one to minus infinity. Limits are Minus infinity to minus one, two to the power of n. This value is one into z to the power of minus n. Okay. Now let us. We don't know the series from minus infinity to minus one. That's why let us put that n is equal to minus n here. In that case it becomes x of z is equal to summation of n tends from. When n is replaced with minus n, it will become n is equal to plus infinity. This is one, two to the power of minus n. Into z to the power of n. Infinity to one can be written as one to infinity. That is summation of n tends from one to infinity. This can be written as that is z by two whole to the power of n. Okay. You know this series. If it is one to infinity, it is z by two whole to the power of one divided by z by two. Know the series that is n tends from one to infinity a to the power of n that can be written as a divided by one minus a condition is modulus of a is less than one. Similarly, z by two you can take it as a here. This can be written as that is z by two whole divided by one minus z by two. Condition is z by two is less than one. What is R O C here is z by two is less than one where z d is Less than two. Okay. Now this is the x of z. Now we'll find out its poles and zeros. That is, its x of z is equal to z by two. You have here two is the LCM. You get two minus z all divided by two. These two, these two get cancelled. You'll get z divided by two minus z. Is x of z is equal to z divided by two minus z. Now zeros are the zeros are that is it has only one zero. Zeros its value is zero, and poles are that is two minus z is equal to zero. Where z is equal to it has one zero and one pole. Pole value is two and zero value is zero. 
it has clouded this ROC poles and zeros. This is real part of Z. This is imaginary part of Z. They said Z is great. Z is ROC is your got that Z is less than two. You got that Z is less than two. You can write this one from the day. Draw a circle. This horizon is the center of the circle with the radius is two. Its radius is it is two. Z is less than two. ROC is inside the circle. Okay. Since the input sequence that is time domain sequence x of n is left-sided infinite duration sequence that exists from minus one to minus infinity, ROC is inside the circle. Now it has one zero and one pole. Pole exists at z is equal to two. Okay. This is pole. This is zero. Okay. Zero. Okay. And one more thing we should observe that here two divided by uh, sorry z divided by two minus z is there. This can be written as take minus common here, you'll get minus z divided by z minus two, you'll get. When you take in z common in the denominator minus z divided by z you take common you get 1 minus 2 z inverse you get this z you get cancel answer is minus 1 divided by 1 minus 2 z inverse okay when you are writing the inverse z transformation this is very much useful when you have minus 1 divided by 1 minus 2 z inverse its inverse z transformation is 2 to the power of n into u of minus n minus 1 suppose if you have x of n is equal to just its u of minus n minus 1. If z transformation, what will get? That is, x of z is equal to you will get minus 1 divided by 1 minus z inverse will get. If you have this, whenever they write, even though if you have this, whenever you are writing the, for this also you will get this answer here, but here that is less than 1, it is inside the circle. When you have these cases here, in writing the inverse z transformations, you should be very very much careful. That is, you should write u of minus n minus 1 and outside minus n, you need to adjust here. 